Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at The Bangle Sellers by Sarojini Naidu. To begin with this poem, let us first understand the poet Sarojini Naidu. She was a prominent Indian poet and politician. This poem explores the life of Indian women, the Indian culture and traditions revolving around women. In most of her poems Sarojini Naidu writes on the theme of Indian culture and people probably because she was much influenced by it. Her po- her poems are focused on Indian settings and this poem is no exception. The poem Bangle Sellers revolves around bangles which is an important ornament that women in the Indian society wear. In the poem the bangle sellers are at a temple fair and they shout out to the people passing by to have a look at their bangles. They urge them and encourage them to buy bangles for their daughters and wives. The main idea or the theme of the poem is to showcase and explain the various stages involved in the life of a woman. The poem reflects the cultural traditions of Indian society during the poet's time. The poem showcases and explains the various stages involved in a woman's life. Stanza 1 The poem begins with the speakers introducing themselves as bangle sellers who sell their articles at the temple fair. They shout out to the people to buy their bangles. These hawkers describe their bangles as delicate, bright, rainbow-tinted circles of light. They advertise by questioning who will buy these bangles for their daughters and wives. It is important to note here that though the speakers of the poem are several, it appears as if there is a single speaker. This is due to the fact that they all have the same purpose and are thus seen singularly as one class. What is the purpose? The purpose is to sell bangles. Also the bangles here are called lustrous tokens of radiant lives. It shows that it shows us the indianness of the poem where bangles are bought on special occasions and are associated with happiness and prosperity. Rainbow tinted circles of light is also a metaphor here the bangles are compared to a circle of light glowing with different colors like the rainbow multicolored bangles are symbolic of radiant lives of happy daughters and wives from the second stanza the speakers the bangle sellers talk of the kinds the variety of bangles they have Some of these bangles are suited for a maiden's wrist which means a young unmarried woman's wrist. Some specific colors like silver and blue which are compared to the mountain mist are most suitable for an unmarried woman's wrist. Some of them are flushed. Flushed means pink and light red in color. similar to flower buds growing beside a woodland stream still others are green and glowing like the transparent beauty of newborn leaves in indian society bangles have an important cultural and religious place different colored bangles are worn by women in different stages of life blue silver and green are generally worn by young maidens unmarried girls It is interesting to note here students that the poet uses the word flush uses these words flushed like the buds that dream the word buds here is suggestive of purity chastity buds that dream present before us an image of young girls dreaming of marriage dreaming of a beautiful future in the stanza the poet presents the stage of youth in a woman's life In the third stanza the bangle sellers say that some of their bangles are yellow like the fields of sunlit corn bangles of this color are perfect for a bride on her bridal morning in fact in the indian culture in hinduism yellow is supposed to be a very auspicious holy color some of the bangles are bright red they represent the flame of a newly turned bri bride's marriage fire that is the passion of her newly made relationships 
with her husband and his family her new family the red bangles also stand for her heart's desire her dreams for the future the bangles are tinkling luminous tender and clear they express both her joy of starting a new life with her husband and also the sorrow of leaving her parents behind what we find striking is the use of the words bridal laughter and bridal tears these words convey the whole truth of a woman's transition in life from a maiden to a wife and all the emotional attachment with it in a single line this stanza marks the transition of a lady's life from being a maiden an unmarried young girl to becoming a wife who has huge responsibilities we've reached the final stanza of the poem the bangle sellers in this stanza the speakers continue to advertise their bangles the speakers means the bangle sellers they shout that that some of their bangles are purple and gold flecked gray these are suited for a middle aged woman who has journeyed through life who has experienced life they are for her who has raised her children well and has remained faithful to her husband and family these bangles are they say perfect for she who has maintained her household with pride and worships the gods at her husband's side in this stanza the poet writes down what she perceives as the qualities of a good wife such a woman is truly deserving of the purple and gold flecked gray bangles here we should pay attention to the word sons used to refer to offspring to children while it could be a happy coincidence it could also suggest the ingrained attitude of male preference in the society of sarojini naidu's time the poem the bangle sellers is a celebration of the female life it shows us the various stages of a woman's life and attempts to represent the indian culture and the role of bangle sellers in the traditional setup the poem points to the tradition to the transition that a woman makes from a maiden to a daughter to a wife to a mother